Hey yo, my Planet Zoo friends, Johnny Five Alive here, and I am joined with Zelixor. Hello. Welcome back to some more Planet Zoo Contest Edition. We are on the final stretch here. Today we're gonna be looking at the Indian elephant. So stay tuned and let's check it out. All right, welcome back everybody. We're gonna dive straight on into things, starting with the Elephant Safari created by Matt Yorshin, one of our Discord expert or master builders. And here they say, for a habitat challenge, I use the African elephants. Boom, done. Okay, let's take a closer look. Okay, here we are. What's up? No, I thought you said Indian, but... They're all the Indian elephants. They said African, right? Oh. <laughs> He did say African. Okay. Yeah. Um, already Looks loving good. the look at these buildings. The colors just pop. And it's a uh, quite an intertangled little town. I like yeah. it. Tons I of little details. All these blueprints up. Trade Pretty center. Good. This looks amazing. I like the yeah. hanging planters. Yeah. Statues everywhere. Love the colors. Yeah, this is really nice little uh, shopping area. Set the staff yeah. buildings back there, even decorated. Love the uh, African build set. Or is it the African? Or is it the Indian? Yeah. Mixture, maybe. African. No, it's all African. Yeah, I love that set. I mean, they, yeah, I still wish they poured it over. Yeah, absolutely. I love the thatch tops. Yeah. There's a staff. One of the nicest staff buildings we've seen so far. Mm. You could definitely tell he put a lot of effort into these shops. Yeah. Well, this <laughs> little guy. That's cool. So this is our viewing area. This, I like the rock wall glass stuff here. Yeah. Cool. Covered up. Mm-hmm. Garden is in it, between. Uh, one way. Yeah. Yeah. Seems like everybody just goes ham with the one way. I feel like it should be used in strategic placements. Uh, yeah. I mean, I get the animal welfare. Yeah. Part of it, probably. Okay. Let's go on in. I mean, the rock wall going all the way around is pretty cool, but it is a little bit repetitive and flat looking. I don't know how you could do that any better. Maybe utilize the train a little bit more. <laughs> uh, like a building. Yeah. Really well done. Here's our elephants. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Little bath here. Nice and open. I mean, it's a, it's a little bit flat, but I guess... It's fine. Um, would like to see a little bit more of the terrain work, especially in the back area. Mm. I don't know, like, how much foliage can you handle? We've had this discussion in the past. I don't think it matters. No, it's true. Wow. They're not going to refuse to live. Oh, there's... Oh, look at that one. Oh, did you see <laughs> so... that? He just <laughs> flings it. <laughs> that little guy, He-Man here. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Wham! It, it punched him back. <laughs> they get up to 5,000 kilograms. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. Catching up to me. No, nothing. <laughs> yeah. I'm <Too> kidding. <laughs> How are you? How are you? <laughs> Jeez. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, definitely an amazing. Uh, I think I feel like the the town is a lot better than the enclosure, in comparison. Something about it just feels a little bit static. You know. Mm. Yeah. I know what you mean. 
yeah, there's, but then there's so much going on here that I absolutely love the shopping area. Luckily, in this contest, it's it's an inclusive thing. So we wanted mm. to see the shops. We wanted to see the staff area. We also wanted to see the enclosure and the guest interaction. So, um, you know, you definitely nailed it on a lot of the aspects. Although the, the hero, the enclosure, is a little bit lacking, in my opinion. But everything else is good. So it's still a very, very strong submission. And I think it deserves some votes just for this amazing village here. Yeah. So so um, sure. we'll have to wait and see what the other two look like. So let's uh, save our voting to the end of the video and let's go check out the next creation of the day. All right, next up is the Raj of Elephants, created by Jesus, one of our Discord expert builders. And here they say, hello, Channel 5 team, and welcome to the Raj of Elephants, a zoo-wide habitat for ele uh, Indian elephants. This, in particular, has overgrown temple, loosely inspired by Indian in and Southeast Asian uh, architecture. Uh, 14 rather content uh, pachyderms live in this breed. Uh, the temple buildings in the middle serve as the main access point for the several viewing platforms and as a shopping hub for the zoo's guests. Check the description on the Steam page for more information if you want. Uh, thanks for everyone in the Channel 5 for hosting an awesome community. Cheers. Boom, you're very welcome. Ah, love this entrance already. I love the little pink yeah. shirts on those elephants. <laughs> Raj of elephants. Hey, wait, is this formation? It almost looks like an elephant trunk. Yeah, almost. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Could have been. That would have been really cool. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. <coughs> Love the centerpiece. Okay, let's go this on up. Definitely Indian. Yeah. The Indian build pieces. Ooh. Nice. See, this is what I was talking about with the train in the last one. I would like to see a little bit more, and I couldn't quite describe what I wanted to say, but this is what I wanted to say. <laughs> you see the, the hills, and like the, it's leading up, and then we have stuff up there, even a viewing platform. And we're up above right now, looking down at the elephants. I like this enclosure. These chairs are amazing. Yeah, they're really cool. Okay. I was just thinking, why don't people make these items in the maker toolkit and just port them over to Blanco. <gasps> Wouldn't that Could, be a Couldn't thing? you just import the assets into the maker toolkit? Maybe. I'm sure you can Is because they're all FPX. It? They're FPX files and they come with textures. You could probably just rip yeah. it straight out of the uh, you know data mine <laughs> it all out. Let's It'll just let's just port the pack over ourselves. Yeah. Can someone do that please? <laughs> so let's do the whole pack everything let's go oh, there you go guys <laughs> let's go actually frontier should do it but yeah yeah well okay i like this upper viewing platform over here mm -hmm. it's a long way back though yeah it's got a good work up um... Discord I, I, I is not really, liking this. Really? Yeah. Do you need me to refresh? No, it's, oh, it's getting better now. Okay, just let yeah. me know if you need me to refresh. It's running a little bit smoother than plant, the last Planet Coaster video we just did. Um, I really Maybe. love the fact that the controls in uh, Planet Zoo, like the strafing, it's not... It's way better. It's not based off the direction of the camera. So you yes. always maintain the same height, which is it's huge. Because so I, I, yes, I really wish that they would bring that option over to Planet Coaster. There's so many, they in, there's so many discrepancies between the two games. Like some, one game is missing these features for building, the other game is missing these features for viewing. And you know, I really wish they kind of consolidated all of their um, features into just mm. one. Like I, I kind of feel like they should be based off the same engine. Like the weather effects should have come over to Planet Coaster, um, you know. As it seems like a strange game development decision to say, "Hey, these are going to be two different games," rather than just like opening up a platform and you choose which game you want to play. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then all the updates, like the camera changes, the weather effects, would apply to both of the games. Doesn't that make sense? Wouldn't it be better? Mm -hmm. Because then you would be building up a platform that you'd launch your planet. You know, everything. Planet everything, yeah. And then you would pick which game you wanted out of the main menu, and uh, everything would just be based off the same engine. 
Because um, it is the same engine, but they're definitely not equal anymore in many, many different aspects. Yeah, great upper air viewing areas. This is phenomenal. I definitely think... They did uh, update the game uh, two days ago. Which game? Uh, Zoo. Okay. Right, so they updated it on the 26th. Feels like it's running smoother, I'll tell you that. Mm. Feels like OBS is handling it a little bit better. So wasn't there a lower... Okay, that was it. Um, I love the uh, Indian temple pieces. Yeah. yeah. Down here. It's very cool. Let's go down to the enclosure. I definitely think this is the winner in terms of enclosures, which is the hero between the two that we've seen so far. However, Matt Yorshin did a beautiful village, so it's it's pretty tough which uh, which one I would vote for. But at the end of the day, it's ultimately up to you guys. There's a little button in the top right hand corner for you to vote on your favorite creation. But we do have one more to check out before you make your mind up. Um, I like the. Um... <clears throat> High, high grass I do too absolutely and I love the fact that you gave them lots of water mm. I really like that mm -hmm. no it's looking great <clears throat> all right so there we go that is uh, the Raj of elephants created by Jesus a wonderful enclosure really love the Indian theme on this one compared I mean uh, I love the differences between the two the African and the Indian two really distinct creations I think it's gonna be tough to pick between the two so far we have one more and uh, let's go check that one out all right Hathi Agar created by kingdom one of our discord master builders and golden patrons thank you so much for your support kingdom here they say lush fresh and watery Indian elephant habitat 4,000 meters of land 1,000 meters of water habitat with all plants trains and enrichment 100% designed specifically for guest enjoyments elephant can only enter main habitat through the huge waterfall this looks amazing to watch uh, they also must swim in front of the guests at ground viewing no windows or bar barriers to get their mud in Enrichment item it has high attitude terrain, altitude terrain, so your guests can see the elephants from super high. Has two educational areas as well as a busy Indian market, as well as some merchandise store inside. Uh, core staff facilities, small keeper hut, staff room with essential utilities. No negative impact on guests. Elephants are named accordingly. Uh, you will see what I mean. Hmm. I think because of our last comment. Okay, so I don't. But he would have submitted that before he even knew about our comment. So no, you can just update it. This is the first time he actually did uh, a proper habitat just for the contest specifically. And he also named it wrong. Again, it was hard to find. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I love this little Zen garden. Yeah. Oh, this is sweet. Okay. It's really nice. These hedge, these roly poly hedge plants are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Indian pop-up store. Woo! Love nice. It. Clutter. And we have. By the way, I was wrong about the update. It comes out on the seventh, but okay. um, they changed a lot to the keepers. I what? like how they feed. By the time they're watching this, it might be the seventh. Yeah, maybe. But yeah, I wouldn't have had the update in the discussion of the update. Oh. But uh, it seems they did some good stuff with the keepers. So that's good. Now, what was he saying? They have to pass through the waterfall to get in? Uh, oh, yeah, so I guess. <laughs> we got to go check that out. Yeah. Okay, keepers. Well, was he talking about the elephants? I don't know. So we got our food over here. They come up and around here. But they don't have right. to pass. Oh, they, they pass through the waterfall to get into the lake. Oh. This is quite nice. We know a sh shelter. Yes. Tired of people. A couple of tons of water on your head. No splash effects. Hello. Okay. Oh, they can come all the way up here. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> Don't slip and fall. No. Oh, it suck. Didn't he say something about the guests can come view from super high up? 
I don't see what he was talking about. <laughs> right? Yeah. I'm not reading that again. Uh, Could have sworn. I, maybe he uh, meant the elephant can view because probably can view the people. Yeah. So. Looks nice though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love the integration of the the waterfall. The foliage around it looks great. I uh, mm. love this little back area as well. It's very quaint and cozy feeling. Mm. Yeah. I would like to see some of the guests in here. I feel like the actual main walkway here, where the this is the main viewing, it is lacking something. There's not a lot of donation and information. There's no benches. There's this one little chill area, but they don't even have benches to sit to relax to get out of the sun. Mm -hmm. So I, I feel like the actual like viewing part is definitely lacking. You know. Mm. And I don't know. It's always a bit dangerous. <laughs> it's not. It's not fenced in either. So the elephants no. can just leave. Right now, you just come on out, st stomp Stampede. all the people. <laughs> <laughs> like Jumanji. It's a stampede. <laughs> I'm a little bit torn because I feel like this looks really unique, and mm -hmm. there's something about it that just tickles my fancy. I love this view here. I feel yeah. like uh, it's missing some of the elements on the outskirts that we saw in the other creations and mm -hmm. it, it's it's one upping the other creations in terms of the the integration of the water elements so and you know just the foliage and stuff is is definitely a lot stronger on this creation than the mm -hmm. last two so um uh, i feel like with a little bit more time because even the zen garden is amazing and if it was integrated and tied into a village here that brought it all together with some village out here and some you know some stuff yeah. for the people i think this could have definitely been the uh winner you know it looks like two different look like the garden and then this it's yeah. been tucked off to the sides if you would have put it like bottom brought right brought it all together and had this yeah, nice indian like, village you know, coming through here village there, yeah. probably would end up being one of my if not my favorite of this episode mm. uh, there's something about this this looks so nice um yeah. this is what i wanted to see from this whole contest and challenges trying to get these like the the terrain and the interior of the habitat just done up i do i do think that jesus on the last one with the indian uh one he did a really good job with that as well in terms of the terrain and the lake so definitely these two are competing strong for the interior the first one was uh probably the best in terms of the exterior things and the the guest yeah. interaction so it's a tough one uh, but at the end of the day, it's up to you guys. So click the little I button in the top right hand corner. You get to decide what your favorite of the three today were. And uh, that's pretty much going to do it for this episode. In the next one, we're going to be going over to the ad Varks. So be sure to tune in for that one. And uh, thank you all so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye now. Bye.